Okay, so here's our final tutorial this week with our pot. And this is to how to change the appearance of our pot. So instead of just being gray, we're gonna make it look like it's made out of a sp specific material. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do this. What you've gotta do, all you've gotta do is press A on the keyboard. You press A and the appearance menu pops up. Now underneath the appearance menu, you have different types of materials you can apply to your object. So for example, if I wanted to apply a wooden texture, I would find a wood, and I just get my little wood square, wood cube, drag it onto the object, and it changes the appearance. If it looks terrible, it probably means the settings are off. So if I double tap, I can change the scale. I change the scale, get it to look like it's actually correct for the object we're making. So I've got a wooden texture on there, that looks okay. I might want to be more experimental, so let's see what a glass texture would do. So the glass texture, that's okay, it's not very visible. Maybe we have gemstone. So let's see what a ruby texture would look like. So yeah, ruby texture, all that sort of stuff. And I might go back to metal textures just because I think they look the nicest. Metal, uh, let's go bronze polished. There we go, so I've made a bronze pot. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's how you can change the, change the textures. All right, the last little thing you can do for today is create a rendered image of the thing we made. So if we go down, our very first little tab here is design, then we can go to render. That opens a different menu. So this is your render menu now. And basically what you really do is move your object around, position it until a spot that you think looks good. Click, you can click setup maybe you wanted to change the background color maybe you want it against a green maybe you don't <laughs> maybe you want it there you go that's slightly better I think focal length I don't know, I don't know. changes the perspective close but yeah scene set up can change the way it appears, all that sort of stuff. Then if you click render, save first, render, waiting, waiting. Don't use cloud renderer because it takes ages, use local renderer. Render. Your picture will pop up down the bottom here. It might take a second. If you have a fast computer, it might go faster. If you have a slow computer, it might go slower. So let's see what's happening. It's thinking, it's thinking. Okay, almost done. the picture we've just made. That's the render of, render of our objects. And we can save that as a JPEG, as a PNG, anything like that. And you've basically just got an image of the object you've just made. All right, so I wanna see an image of your pot next week before we start our coins.